Welcome to AI Briefing. The content of the briefing includes the premature quest for international AI cooperation. AI systems cannot be named as the inventor of patents, UK's top court rules. Fujitsu will quicken aircon sale to power $5 billion AI push. Fears UK not ready for deepfake general election. The COVID productivity bubble has burst. The premature quest for international AI cooperation. Foreign affairs. Political leaders are increasingly recognizing the need for government regulation of artificial intelligence, AI, to ensure that AI applications operate within the confines of the law and safeguard national security, human rights, and economic competition. However, the current approach to AI governance, which involves advocating for new international agencies to oversee AI, is flawed. Merely introducing new agencies will not solve the puzzle of AI governance, instead, lawmakers should first establish the preconditions and content of laws and regulations and then fit agencies to oversee their implementation. The achievements of existing international bodies, such as the International Atomic Energy Agency and the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, are worth emulating, but their oversight models do not easily translate to AI. Effective multilateralism depends on effective national laws, and governments should work on drafting the laws that international agencies will monitor. They should also build an international consensus on key points such as requiring disclosure of the use of AI in important applications, setting limits on AI-enabled weapons, and integrating AI regulation with environmental protection efforts. Real progress on international AI oversight will require new and updated laws, as well as the resources and technical capacity to enforce them. Rather than focusing on overarching institutions, policymakers should prioritize the development of laws and regulations that are adaptable to the evolving capabilities of AI. AI systems cannot be named as the inventor of patents, UK's top court rules. South China Morning Post. The UK Supreme Court has ruled that an artificial intelligence, AI, system cannot be registered as the inventor of a patent. The decision came as a result of a legal battle led by American technologist Stephen Thaler, who sought to have his AI system, Davis, listed as the inventor of two patents. Thaler claims that Davis autonomously created a food and drink container and a light beacon. However, the Supreme Court concluded that an inventor must be a person under current law. Similar applications by Thaler have been rejected in the US and the European Union. Fujitsu will quicken aircon sale to power $5 billion AI push. Yahoo! Fujitsu is looking to restart the sale of its air conditioning business, Fujitsu General, to help bolster its expansion into the nascent artificial intelligence, AI, services market. The company has held talks with potential buyers, including Bain Capital and KKR, for the sale of its 44% stake in Fujitsu General. The deal is valued at 104 billion Japanese yen, $728 million, according to Bloomberg. Fears UK not ready for deepfake general election. BBC. Sir Robert Buckland, former Justice Secretary and Conservative MP, has warned that artificial intelligence, AI, poses a clear and present danger to UK democracy. Buckland, who chairs the Northern Ireland Select Committee, has expressed particular concern about the rise of deepfakes, realistic audio and video clips of politicians appearing to say things they did not say. The threat posed by AI-generated misinformation is already happening and could disrupt the next general election, Buckland warned. The UK government is taking steps to protect elections from foreign interference, through a Defending Democracy Task Force launched last year and chaired by Home Office Security Minister Tom Tugendhat. The National Cyber Security Centre, NCSC, has warned in its annual report that large language models and text-to-speech software, seen by some as a gift to those who want to disrupt elections, could be used to generate fabricated content and make the spread of disinformation easier. The Labour Party and London Mayor Sadiq Khan have already fallen victim to deepfakes. The COVID productivity bubble has burst. The Sydney Morning Herald. New research from the Productivity Commission and economists at the Reserve Bank of Australia suggests that the reopening of the nation's hospitality sector after COVID-19 may have contributed to a collapse in productivity. The study found that a temporary productivity bubble emerged during the pandemic when workers moved from low productivity sectors to more productive areas, but this burst as workers returned to lower productivity sectors after restrictions eased. The research also found that businesses with women on their boards are more likely to profitably adopt breakthrough technologies such as artificial intelligence. Study shows AI image generators being trained on explicit photos of children. The Globe and Mail. Thousands of images of child sexual abuse have been found hidden within the foundation of popular artificial intelligence, AI, image generators like LAION, according to a new report by the Stanford Internet Observatory.
The discovery has prompted calls for companies to take action to address the harmful flaw in AI technology. The report states that the images have made it easier for AI systems to produce realistic and explicit imagery of fake children, as well as transform social media photos of fully clothed real teenagers into nudes. The Stanford group found over 3,200 images of suspected child sexual abuse in the Layan AI database, which is used to train leading AI image makers. The report calls for drastic measures to be taken, including deleting or cleaning training sets built off LAION 5B and making older versions of applications that generate abusive images disappear. The report also calls on Hugging Face, which distributes training data for models, to implement better systems for reporting and removing links to abusive material. Colorado's Supreme Court isn't following Trump's holiday script. Bloomberg the Colorado Supreme Court has ruled that former President Donald Trump should be excluded from the state's primary ballot due to his involvement in the January 6 insurrection. The court relied on Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which prohibits individuals who have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the U.S. from holding office. This could potentially be a historic case if the U.S. Supreme Court is asked to decide whether Trump is disqualified under the Constitution, as the ruling would apply in every state, not just Colorado. The justices have five options, none of which are perfect, according to legal scholar Noah Feldman. Meanwhile, the Republican Party's embrace of lies about voter fraud has led to the party's descent into MAGA degeneracy, says columnist Francis Wilkinson. Trump's candidacy is now more muddled than ever, with the Colorado ruling being just one piece of a larger puzzle involving many questionable actors. Japan panel pushes to shield copyrighted work from AI training. Nikkei Asia a panel under Japan's Agency for Cultural Affairs has stated that the unauthorized use of protected texts, images, and other material to train artificial intelligence AI, may be considered a copyright violation. The panel is currently drafting a document on generative AI and copyrighted material, with the aim of updating guidelines by March. While Japanese law generally does not require permission to use copyrighted material for training AI models, there are exceptions if it unfairly harms the interests of copyright holders. The panel's document suggests that copyright holders should be able to request developers of generative AI to take preventive measures to avoid copyright infringement. The document also states that AI-generated material with a similar style to existing works does not automatically violate copyrights, but training models solely on works by specific creators could be a violation. Many creators have expressed concerns about AI models producing material that infringes on copyrights. Pulitzer-winning authors join OpenAI, Microsoft copyright lawsuit. Yahoo! A group of 11 authors, including Pulitzer Prize winners, have accused OpenAI and Microsoft of misusing their books to train OpenAI's chatbot ChatGPT and other AI-based software. The authors claim that the companies infringed their copyrights by using their work to train OpenAI's GPT large language models. The authors have asked the court for monetary damages and an order for the companies to stop infringing their copyrights. A number of similar lawsuits have been filed by groups of copyright owners against OpenAI and other tech companies over the alleged misuse of their work in AI training. TikTok parent ByteDance says it's using OpenAI technology to test its own AI models. CNN. Chinese tech company ByteDance has admitted that it uses OpenAI's GPT technology to a limited extent to develop its own AI models. This comes after OpenAI suspended ByteDance's account due to concerns over how its GPT data was being used. ByteDance claims that its engineering team uses OpenAI's GPT, along with other third-party models, for evaluation and testing purposes. ByteDance spokesperson stated that the company is licensed by Microsoft to use the GPT APIs and uses GPT to power products and features outside of China. OpenAI's services are not available in China. The Verge had previously reported that ByteDance was secretly using OpenAI's technology to train its own large language model in violation of OpenAI's terms of service. OpenAI has suspended ByteDance account and is investigating the matter further. Reclaiming Bollywood, Shah Rukh Khan Style Al Jazeera Shah Rukh Khan, SRK, has built a strong brand and loyal fan base, which he has leveraged to promote his latest film, Dunkey. The Bollywood star has spent months marketing the film, using a strategy that resembles a political campaign. Khan has focused on aligning his films with the mood of the nation, retained control of his brand and image through social media, and created a cult-like following. The success of Dunkey will test Khan's box office clout, as the film is riding mostly on his shoulders. However, industry insiders are skeptical that it will perform as well as his previous action-packed hits this year.
Khan has successfully revived his career after a four-year hiatus and a string of flops. His previous two films, Pathan and Jawan, were blockbuster hits and have made it into the top 10 highest-grossing Indian films ever. With Dunkey, Khan is hoping to score a hat trick. The film is an emotional drama about illegal migration from Punjab to the United Kingdom, and industry insiders believe that action films are currently more popular in India. Despite this, Khan's dedicated fan base is optimistic about the film's success and is focused on ensuring that it beats the box office performance of Jawan. Clever, cringe or concerning? Politicians are taking TikTok campaigning to a whole new level. ABC. Presidential candidates in Indonesia are using social media to target young voters, who make up 60% of the electorate, in a bid to win the February election. Candidates are posting cat videos, using Hollywood references and even dancing on TikTok to appeal to millennials and Generation Z. The tactics have attracted criticism from some young people, who say they are offended and frustrated by the gimmicks. However, others are charmed by the new personas, which could influence the outcome of the election. Prabowo Subianto, the leading candidate, has been investing the most in rebranding himself for a younger demographic. Videos of him dancing have gone viral, and memes portraying him as a cute cartoon character have appeared on clothing. The election will see Prabowo, a defense minister and ex-Special Forces general, challenge former Central Java Governor Ganjar Pranowo and former Jakarta Governor Anis Baswedan to lead the predominantly Muslim country. Can AI therapy help ease America's mental health crisis? Yahoo! Artificial intelligence, AI, therapy apps have grown in popularity in recent years, offering a range of mental health services and treatments. While these apps are not considered a replacement for human therapists, they can be an important supplement for those who cannot access traditional therapy due to barriers such as cost, availability, or insurance coverage. Some research has shown that AI therapy can be effective, particularly for systematic treatments like cognitive behavioral therapy. However, skeptics argue that there are significant risks in relying on AI for mental health support, including the potential for incorrect advice, unethical use, and concerns about privacy, oversight, and accountability. Despite these concerns, AI therapy apps are likely to become more prevalent in the future, with some companies seeking FDA approval to ensure their safety and efficacy. The biggest tech stories to watch in 2024. Yahoo! The new year is nearly upon us, which means it's the perfect time to look ahead to the tech trends that will shape 2024. Generative AI was the story of 2023, and just because the clock strikes midnight on January 1st, doesn't mean it will become any less important. Look for generative AI, and AI in general, to continue to drive a huge portion of the conversation in the year ahead. It's not just going to be about new models and companies joining the AI arms race, though. Talk will increasingly focus on how companies are generating revenue from their early generative AI investments. But AI won't be the only story making waves. Augmented and virtual reality will also take center stage when Apple AAPL, releases its Vision Pro headset in early 2024, setting up a showdown with rival Meta, Meta. Autonomous vehicle technology will also get plenty of attention in 2024, as companies like Tesla, TSLA, and GM, GM, face criticism related to their self-driving capabilities and more automakers deploy advanced driver assistance features. There are also sure to be stories that explode onto the scene that we can't even fathom today. Who could have known in 2022 that generative AI would become the tech story of 2023? With that said, here are some of the biggest themes you can look forward to in 2024. And that's a wrap on today's news. We covered a wide range of topics, from the challenges of international AI cooperation to the legal battles over AI patents and copyright infringement. We also explored the potential impact of AI on elections, the ethical concerns surrounding AI image generators, and the use of AI therapy apps for mental health support. Plus, we discussed the booming AI industry and the tech trends to watch in 2024. It's clear that AI continues to shape and impact various aspects of our lives, from governance and intellectual property to entertainment and mental health. As we navigate this rapidly evolving landscape, it's important to strike a balance between embracing the potential benefits of AI and addressing the ethical and regulatory challenges it presents. So, what are your thoughts on today's news? Do you see international AI cooperation as a viable solution? How do you feel about AI-generated deepfakes and their potential impact on elections? And what about the use of AI therapy apps for mental health support? I'm curious to hear your perspectives and answer any questions you may have. Let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, 
think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.